it's beyond unbelievable. And all we want to do is get her back. And when she moved in, she seemed really sweet. She just said, I'm scared. And then two minutes later, dot, dot, dot. And I kept calling her and texting her, but I didn't get any answer. It's really unnerving and scary as a woman that someone went missing on this very block. Somebody see something, somebody call, somebody say something. The desperate search for a beautiful missing woman tonight, Dana Bonanno, vanished two weeks ago after sending her mom a panicked text message which read, quote, I'm scared, end quote. This stunning 33-year-old woman last seen by her roommates at her apartment in the Greenpoint section of Brooklyn, New York. According to her mom, Dana called at about 10 p.m. and said she was being harassed by her roommates and wanted an attorney. Her roommates claimed she left the apartment at around 11 p.m. and never came back. Straight out to my very special guest, Dana's mother, uh, Donna O'Connor. Donna, first of all, thank you for joining us exclusively tonight. Uh, my heart goes out to you. I know that you are going through a living hell at this point. We want to help. What, what do you know about your daughter's disappearance that you can tell us? Um, again, she called me about five or two minutes to, to 10 o'clock, and she said um, she was very excited. I couldn't understand what she was saying, so I, I asked her. I said, to please slow down and let me know what you're talking about. And she hung up and she called back when she was calmer and she said that she needed to have an attorney. And I said, an attorney for what? And she said that she needed, uh, her roommates were harassing her and they were uh, talking behind her back and looking at her computer. And um, I, I said, well, if you don't need an attorney then, I said, what you need to do is call 911 or go to the police and ask them. And she uh, said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang up and call now didn't hear from her, so I texted her and I said, did you call them? And then she um, texted back finally at about 10 after 11 and she said that, uh, uh, she said, I'm scared. And I said, so I texted back and I said, scared of what? And then two minutes later she said, dot, 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 that's all she sent. And then that was the last that I heard from her. I found out subsequently from a friend that she texted her also and said, I'm scared, but that was about 10 minutes after she had, she had texted me. Um, not with any information or anything like that. And I thought that, you know, she has anxiety, and I thought perhaps that that's what it was. She's, she's been laid off from work. Let me um, ask you this, and I, I just mm -hmm. want to jump in. Did, did police interview these roommates? Have they been cleared? They have absolutely been cleared, yes. And even an ex-boyfriend, they've cleared him also. They've, uh, so she's um, upset, and she walks out onto the streets of uh, Greenpoint, Brooklyn, which right. can, you know, very gentrified, but it can also be dangerous. If you walk a certain area, there, there's, there's any city can be dangerous. Right. Let's right. take a short.